day one of the James Worley trial was jury selection, critical because a jury of his peers needs to be seated. Overall, it was a procedural day, but there were some tense moments. Wearing a button-down shirt and pants, James Worley faced the men and women who could determine his fate. 120 potential jurors were questioned on day one of his trial for the kidnapping and murder of Sierra Joggin to determine who can stay and who goes. But in the morning, the Honorable Jeffrey Robinson appeared to become angry with so many jurors saying they could not be unbiased in this case. Now look, I'm going to ask some specific questions. And I'm trying to find an unbiased jury here. So if you would just refrain from making any additional commentary and base your answers on what I ask, I would very much appreciate it. One by one jurors were excused for different reasons like not being able to get child care or a financial burden being off from work for a trial that's expected to last five weeks. Still, dozens of potential jurors remain and need to be screened. Is there anyone here who uh, feels that as a juror it's your prerogative to uh, not apply the law if you don't agree with it, to do what you think is right rather than to follow the instructions of the court? The restrictions on the courtroom include no cell phones, but also no signs, T-shirts, or buttons which plead justice for Sierra. Sierra Joggins' family was inside the courtroom for jury selection and are expected to be present throughout the trial. Jury selection continues tomorrow. Reporting in Fulton County, I'm Viviana Hurtado, WTOL 11 News.